I love this story. It has a painful, unexpected ending to it that makes it stand out, makes it memorable. This is in uh, Georgetown, Washington, DC. And the cops are pursuing him because he was speeding. But uh, I think he's got a bit more to hide than that. And, okay, there goes his mate. Uh, they're not interested in him. They're after the driver. He's the one that's speeding. He's just got something to hide. So, uh, yeah, that was interesting. I don't know what he's trying to do there, but he's trying to maybe fool the police, but it's not working. Right, here we go. And he tries to bail, but nope, changes his mind. You could have a bit of distance for what's worth bailing from a, in a pursuit. And, uh, Okay, here we go. So he's found a bit of distance, and here he goes. Whoa! Now watch the shoes. They're literally dancing down the street. He's hit, he's hit so hard, but didn't stop him getting up and running off, followed by the cop who's, well, that cop was never going to catch him. And sure enough, he didn't. So, uh, but they caught him later. So that's brilliant, brilliant clip. This clip is an absolute classic. It has all the ingredients I love to see in a story. A massive amount of stupidity mixed with jaw-dropping moments, followed by the audience thinking, I can't believe what I just saw. So this guy is obviously out of his head on something, but he eventually makes it onto the roof, smashes his way through, and makes a fairly undignified entrance. Now that must have hurt. So he picks himself up, gets organised, and uh, goes shopping really, I suppose you could say. So now it's time to leave, and uh, he's found some step ladders, which is, uh, he certainly didn't bring with him, and, uh, but unfortunately they're not quite tall enough, and he's not a very good climber, so and second attempt, ouch, that really hurt. So it's time to go to plan B, which involves finding something to sit on and waiting for the police to arrive to nick him.